Hi, this is Chandra. I'm back to share another mini album that I made. This one is using the Heidi Grace cartwheel collection that I got at Joann's. And all the embellishments are part of that collection. Um, so I'm just going to take you through this album. This is a chipboard spine and cover, and it's six and a half inches by eight inches. Uh, here's a fabric flower and a piece from the collection, a little tag, and a button from the collection. So the inside cover is just patterned paper. This page flips open and there's a pocket in there. And I have put a um, butterfly here, a little flower here, and there's a little journaling spot there. Each of these pages has a pocket on the inside and I just used um, some scraps of the paper. This punch is from Stampin' Up! And I just glued them on there. I did use Vintage Photo Distress Ink. The second page is a belly style band page. Here's a fabric flower sticker. This tag has a chipboard element that's been glossy accented and the paper from the collection. I did use a border punch here. The Memory Keepers Corner Chompers there. I don't know if you can tell it, but this paper is, some of it's glittered and some of it's embossed. It's really pretty colors. Here's a butterfly from the collection. This flap flips open and here's a pocket on the inside. These, um, I guess, journaling cards I got from Michaels, their recollection brand, but the colors match the paper so well. Here's a chipboard sticker there and again, here's a... Um, the punch from Stampin' Up! that I just put all the way around the page there. Here are some more um, cardstock elements from the collection. This pocket tag, um, I put a butterfly and a piece of the pattern paper there. And then when I flip over the page, there are two separate pockets, but I just matted the page so that I could stick a big photo there. This one has one of the chipboard elements. This part of the flower is glossy accented. And this is a ribbon sticker that I bought that goes with the collection that coordinates with it. When I attach my pictures and stuff, just like I always do, I'll embellish more after the pictures um, are attached to the base pages here. Here's another belly style pocket and a journaling spot from the collection. Here's a little chipboard element and on the back I just have some pattern paper that I punched out with the paper punch. So this flips open and I have the butterfly here, another journaling spot, um, spot for a photo here and a 4x6 photo on the back. This right here is a another fabric ribbon sticker that coordinates with the collection. This tag on the inside, I stuck a butterfly there and some of the patterned paper. They had three or two different 12 by 12 packs. One was um, pretty much just this plain paper and the other one was the glittered paper. So I bought, I bought both packs because there's actually different paper in each pack. The same color family, same flowers. Um, there's another chipboard element that's been glossy accented there. This is from the collection that I bought. And here is a fabric. It's not really a button. It's got a sticker on the back of it so it sticks. Um, here's a chipboard element from the collection. Another journaling tag from Michaels. And then another photo mat there in this pocket. Whoops. This tag has a journaling spot on it and then I didn't put anything on the back. So there was a chipboard stickers that I bought. There was a whole pack of these. It's not really chipboard but it's it's a thicker kind of card stock that's pretty shiny. Um, it has a bunch of different elements in it. I did buy these um, buttons. I think there was eight of them in the collection pack. Like this butterfly and this flower over here came in this little chipboard pack. 
um, and just use some of the paper from the collection, another belly style page. Um, this page, and here's two more of those buttons. This photo mat, um, I stuck a chipboard um, butterfly there. This is from Recollections. And then again, this page, they all have the mats in there. So I just decorated the mat. Some of them have stuff going on to the back and some of them don't. Here's another double pocket page here. And I just matted again over it. This punch is from close to my, no, Stampin' Up. Let's get those two. So I can journal there if I need to or write the year or whatever. Um, this came with that collection. Um, as well as that. Here's another fabric covered. Hello. I'm just waiting for it to unfreeze now. Um, this is another one of those fabric covered buttons. So this paper is glittered up a little bit. Um, it's another tag. Just a cloud that says love. Another journaling spot coordinated with the collection and this tag is in the last page. There's six pages um, in this album. Here's some more tags. Um, this is part of the, it's embossed. I don't know if you can see that it's glossy a little bit. And the back in the spine. I did use um, Paper Phenomenon's Hidden Hinge binding system to bind the album. And I think these were the eight and a half, yeah, I used eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock to create this album. This flap is all one sheet. Some of them I punched and some of them I didn't. And then this side of the pocket, this side of the page is a separate um, piece of paper there. So that's my cartwheel album from Heidi Grace. Thanks for watching.